So the DNC uh, has denied a major progressive organization, like a big media organization, uh, online media, uh, press credentials. So the Young Turks is a, a organization that started in 2002 as a radio show. Jank Uger and uh, Bank, Ben Bankowitz um, and others who founded the Young Turks. They, you know, they speak the truth. They speak on progressive values. They criticize the Democratic Party because the Democratic Party is a bunch of corporate hacks and neoliberal war criminals who don't give a crap about you. And all they do is they sell you out to the corporations. They sell out to the corporations. They, they, they give them everything they want, all the tax cuts they want, all the wars they want, all the money they want. And what do they do for you? Nothing. They don't give you anything. They don't give you jack. And um, so the Young Turks criticizes them. They criticize the Republican Party, of course. But because they are getting critiques and criticisms from the left, from people that are way over there to them, to the left, they have decided that they will forbid the Young Turks from getting any press credentials as a local, you know, national media organization on the web that has, what, 9 billion views on YouTube, 10 billion views, over 20 million unique viewers a month. Plenty of shows on their network, like The Ring of Fire, Secular Talk, TYT, uh, uh, you know, uh, TYT Nation, TYT Sports, Rebel HQ, Rebel Headquarters, uh, and a bunch of other, you know, um, you know, shows on their network and a lot of viewers, a lot of viewers on there, a lot of viewers, lots. Not only that, but they, Jank Uger is saying vote for Joe Biden over Trump. Vote for Joe Biden. He's putting his criticisms aside. Now he's still criticizing, but he's literally saying, fine, we'll bend the knee to Joe Biden. And you still deny him press credentials. You still deny the Young Turks press credentials. So two points here. This shows, number one, this shows, as I said in this last video, where the Democratic Party is going. It really does. Because instead of being here supporting uh, the progressives and saying, come in, Make your speeches, AOC, Andrew Yang, Ilhan Omar, uh, Zephra Teachout, anybody. And the Young Turks, here are your press credentials because you are a member of the media. Instead of saying that, they're saying, F you, we don't want you. We want to keep being the corporate wing of the Democratic Party. We don't care if you fall in line. Unity, unity, unity. Oh, fuck progressives. Who cares about progressives? We don't care what they want. We care what the banks want. We care what the health insurance companies want. We care what the fossil fuel executives want. We care what Wall Street wants. We care what hospitals wants. Uh, hospitals want. We care what, what the big hospital corporations want. They don't care about you. Seriously. And, and to every progressive, to AOC, to Bernie, who just is a cartoon of a leader because he bent the freaking knee. He didn't get any concessions, any tangible concessions from Joe Biden. He just sold us out and left us out to dry who spent millions and millions of dollars of our own money on his freaking campaign and buying from his store and waiting for his store to take three months to send something that we ordered all in order for him to be president. He bent the knee. He didn't give us anything in return. He didn't get any concessions from Joe Biden. He didn't say we'll walk away if you don't do this, this and that. Nothing. And then you got the young Turks saying vote for Joe Biden. And then you don't get press credentials. That shows you where the Democratic Party is. A bunch of these hacks. That's what it shows you. And you keep bending the knee and bending the knee and bending the knee and just giving in and giving in and giving in. It's annoying. Stop. Because what you're doing is my podcast is very small. It's very little. It's not, you know, anything huge yet. I hope it gets bigger. Uh, I hope it gets bigger. Like, share, comment, subscribe, please. Thank you. Subscribe. Uh, show it to your friends. Anyway, what that does is it lets the DNC know they're going to give in anyway. We could say F you and not give them any press credentials. And they're still going to do whatever the hell we want. 
So why even bother? Why even do what they want? Why even even why even question ourselves? Why even do anything for them? Who cares? They're the middle class. They'll survive. I don't know. Vote for us in the next ballot. And then if my podcast gets any bigger, which I hope it does, let's say I decide to make my own network. Now I want press credentials and the DNC doesn't give me any press credentials. How hilarious that you're letting that happen to organizations, big organizations like the Humanist Report, the Majority Report with Sam Sater, the Ring of Fire, Tick, um, um, not TikTok, um, uh, uh, you know, I, I think I said Secular Talk, TYT Nation and all of that. Uh, Kim Iverson, the Jimmy Dore Show, of course, because he also criticized the left. Me, uh, the Majority Report, uh, I think I said that, the, the um, Rational National, all of these organizations that have millions and millions of views, release hundreds of thousands of minutes and videos, and you can't give us press credentials? This is why I say don't vote for Joe Biden. Don't give in to the Democratic Party. And for those that are, stop it. They ain't here for you. They're never going to be.